Hey, bro. Why are you crying? Uh, sorry about the background noise and the weird Daddy, scenario Daddy. here. But I'm in the garage and this is the church. They actually have this one of these uh, uh, industrial uh, coffee makers and it's actually giving give a lot of grief because of the it's consuming a lot of energy and they reported that it works but at a certain point it just trips a breaker so i'm pretty sure that there's either something bad inside like a spill they mentioned that there would be a spill or something like that or um or some other uh, problem with the uh with internally uh or maybe with the cat wiring or something like that so let's do a, a full evaluation on that let's go well, first thing, is, uh, that's the model of the coffee maker, uh, 3200.0001. It's a yeah, 13 amp uh, piece of equipment. So it's probably, they say that it was tripping a breaker, so it's definitely consuming a lot more than that. And it's one of those industrial uh, 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 coffee makers where they have a, where you, where you have one of the jugs here that actually where the coffee pours from above in here. Uh, it's kind of dirty, but that's natural over the years, right? Of years, right? And then you have another one on top here, which is just a, just a heater uh, to, uh, to, uh, to heat it up another pot that is actually made. And that's where you pour the water in here. So you pour the water, it boils and all that stuff. So basically that's a, that's industrial, very, very sturdy, typically. And these two things are typically very expensive. So let's take a look at it. Well, first things first, I suspect that either this, this thing is very, very charred. It's either the, uh, the outlet here uh, that is actually starting to short, which may, may trip the, the breaker or, uh, or something internal. My suspicion at this time is that replacing just this, this cord here, you will do the work, but I'll actually ended up opening it up just to to see what's internals, uh, what's what's the overall status of the of the machine. But I'm suspecting that this is the culprit of all the problems. This outlet here is really in bad shape. Oh well, let's go. Well, measuring just the outlets in here, like just the two pins of the plug, and 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 and, and moving it around, 9.8 ohms. It's ra it's normal for a, a standby unit, meaning nothing is actually running, no heat resistance and whatnot. But I don't I can't detect really a short because you move around the cable just to see if there's any any shorts or anything and that that the millimeter would actually get to zero ohms or something like that. So there's absolutely no there's absolutely no no problem. In here. So I don't I don't think that there's a. a a real trouble in here. Uh, at least the, the outlet could be causing the problem because it may be sparking on the outlet, but the uh, but the unit itself is not shorting, which is a good sign. But this is very charred. It needs to be changed, anyways. I'll do now a measurement of the of the current consumed using the the a meter. Uh, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna measure how much is actually draining uh, from this from this. Let's go. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. This is the ammeter. This is my splitter. I'm measuring on the on the oops. I'm measuring on the phase here on my splitter, and I'm gonna connect the the unit. And this this uh, this extension cord has a GFCI. So if anything happen that happens, it will trip. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, 12 amps straight away. 12 amps straight away is. It's, it's quite a lot or maybe because the temperature of the boiler is not reached the temperature yet so it's trying probably to heat it up one thing I can try to do is put a small pot in there and uh, in the put some water and see if it boils if it boils this is quite a lot of energy being consumed uh, almost in a standby capacity so definitely there's something uh, there's something sick here something that is not not quite right here more investigation is needed please apologize for the camera on hand but that's that's the best for the angle this is the top of the unit this is the top burner and this is the uh, where the water intake goes and the current nothing is happening right now the current is still very high 11.7 
And do I hear something? I seem to hear some some buzz in here. But let's see. I have a Pyrex. I have a Pyrex container down at the bottom. Oh, and I hear some boiling apparently. So let me put some water. I'm gonna pour in some water. Let's see what the what the unit does. Okay. Current still the same. Let's see if it's actually going to boil the water and, and make and make coffee. Let's see. Okay, now it's doing. Now it's making coffee, <laughs> and and the boiler is starting making coffee, and that's how it's actually dripping from above. Uh, but the current stays the same. The current, uh, the, 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 the current stays more or less the same, and I can hear the same uh, boiling uh, noise. One of the problems is that they mentioned the temperature on this cable is getting extremely hot. So I suspected that this outlet, this all this thing, is actually increasing the resistance tremendously, and that's why the unit. They complained that the unit was not making coffee as fast as it should have. So there may be something to it. So, well, let's see. I, I think my first order of the day is to actually uh, replace this cord and eventually get to, to the bottom of the, of the rest of it. Which, to replace this cord, it will be a little bit complicated. I just need to actually get to the bottom of this unit. But I needed to turn it over, so it might be water. It might be a little bit messy. But let's see. At least he made some coffee. <laughs> so, with the machine open, here's the boiler, okay? That's just a side panel. And, well, my meter is actually resting on the, <laughs> on the, on the water tank, on the top water tank. That's fine. But here is the, uh, is the internal of the machine, where you have the, uh, the, serpent, the small serpentine is actually the wire from the thermostat. Uh, and there's the connections here. There's a the bus terminal in here and uh, the, the thermostat control. This thermostat control was set to high. So I think that's what explains it being forever uh, powered on. The boiler never stops working. Uh, so I, I'm gonna regulate that so it can have something more meaningful. And these are the two switches uh, for the heaters, but these are for the top and bottom heater. So these are not really important because these are working fine. So what I'm suspecting is that what I'm have to do is just do a, a minor regulation in here and change the outlet. So I think everything will be a will be a working fine. Uh, I suspect so. Let's let's see. I'm gonna put it to test. Okay. So I'm gonna actually measure the voltage on that terminal bus inside uh, using uh, some <laughs> some probes that are a bit longer because it's very hard to access there but I should have 120 volts. So hopefully I'm gonna get there. I can hear the boiler going on. So let me try to see if I can do this without messing up too much. Okay, 120 volts, 118, which is good enough. Okay, so it's actually still boiling and it's set to maximum. So it's boiling eternally. The current still going at 11 amps. Let me see if I can actually, oh, there you go. I can hear the click by setting the thermostat a little bit lower, I could actually get the, current, the thermostat, the boiler, to actually stop boiling, which is a good thing. Because now, what do I have here? Oh, well, I don't know if I still have 120 volts in here. Let me see here. Yeah, I still have 120, <laughs> but you can tell 124. So there's a huge drop, of six, six or so volts, probably because of the frayed core. And, uh, and, the out and, the, and the plug. So definitely those need to be replaced. And I suspect that as soon as the temperature starts going down, the thermostat will actually act up again and it will actually bring the temperature back up. You pour in a, a lot of water, uh, almost an entire pitcher. The water is coming now on my fake coffee pot already and it's very warm so it's already a, a coffee pot being brewed okay i can feel the heat here <laughs> and the boiler is not turned on yet it will because this cold water is going to start seeping in and then you warm the water 
you cool the water inside the boiler and then the boiler will kick in. That's what I noticed. So to me, the whole thing is working. Uh, I would definitely reply the freight, repl uh, replace the freight cord, but everything else seems to be uh, working fine. Yeah, there you go. The boiler, oops, sorry, sorry about the <laughs> upside down. <laughs> the boiler kicked in and it's boiling the water. Started to heat up the water that is already inside the, the, the boiler itself. So, so it is working. It is working. It didn't do anything, to be honest. I just needed to. I uh, needed to clean it up, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe to get a, some water out of the system. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe need some um, descaling, which will be removal of the impurities. I don't know. But it's, it's brewing a pot of coffee. So, yeah. I'll replace the cord, I'll replace the cord and return it. It's nothing to it, to be honest. All right, final test. New plug, new cord actually uh, is 16 times three. Uh, and I'm gonna get the voltage in here, measure the voltage after it connects. Let's see. You can never turn this on without water in the boiler. So it's 12 amps getting in there. It'll probably start boiling soon. Let me try to measure the voltage on this outlet here. 120, hmm, a little bit better than your regular uh, 120. Let me see on the outlet how much we have. 120, all right, got it, finally. So 120 here and all right, 119. Before it was six volts difference, now it's less than one volt. Approved. <laughs> Things approved. Let me turn on the boiler. Actually, let me bring more water. And I want to make sure that we got, we got enough uh, water to, to boil. All right, now it is boiling. <laughs> and it's going down fast. So let's see, probably we'll start making coffee soon. Just wanna make sure that. All right, it is making coffee again. What I found out, you need probably three to four pitchers of water down, the, down this guy here, so you can actually co do continuous coffee. All right, living and learning. <laughs> but overall, boiler is working. The thing is working. I did a little bit of the scaling. We really needed some cleaning. And so far, it is brewing coffee. <laughs> so, well, chalk that one out. See you next time. <laughs> Hope you have liked it. Not much interesting. Just a frayed cord and some cleanup, some touch up, spit and polish. And everything is good. All right, see you next time.